Ryan, so I'm good to see you again. You know what I just said to my husband? I saw you more often in the last months on interviews than some of my friends. Oh no. <laughs> but now I heard, <laughs> it's true, and I heard you make a break now. What are you gonna do with all the time on your hands? Uh, I, you know, I wish I was gonna have time on my hands. I don't know if I'll have that luxury, but I, I will, uh, you know, I'm, it's mainly that my kids are at a certain age where I just don't wanna miss this time and they're in school. So normally we would all travel together um, when I shoot a movie or when Blake shoots a movie. And we can't do that with them in school, so I just I need to be home. But I, I, I have so much in development and so many other you know projects that I'm working on that um, I'll be busy as hell. I'll just be able to be there in the mornings at night uh, for, for for the girls, which is really important to me. Absolutely, I hope they appreciate that, you know, or they think, oh my God, now he's here every day, you know. No, they should. I they don't. It's not their job to appreciate it. it. Really, it really is their job to take it for granted. Their dad should be there, uh, you know, every single day, every morning and night. So, um, I'm happy to do it. Also, because talking about kids, you were a little bit in red notice, like this annoying little brother to Dwayne, you know. Yeah like always nagging him and that you love me and things like that. So you are, I think, the youngest of four, right? Yeah. Were you mommy's uh, favorite because you were the youngest? Could you get away with things others couldn't? I don't think I would say that I was my mother's favorite. My mom was good at sort of spreading the love around. Um, my father, not as good at spreading the love around, but... But, um, but definitely, you know, that kind of attitude was a self-defense mechanism. My brothers were all so, so much bigger than me. So I, I couldn't get by with my muscles. I had to get by with my mouth. Uh, so I would, you know, learn how to have a bit of a silver tongue and, you know, say things that would be more hurtful to them than my fists could ever produce. So. But you also, I saw this beautiful, it was a family affair, your premiere for Red Notice. You know, Dwayne had his mother. You had Tammy with you, your mother. Yeah. Is that something, is she super proud of you because you have these amazing movies out and you're such a celebrity? I don't know that she places emphasis on those things as much as she places a lot of emphasis on how I am. You know, she places more emphasis on like how, what's the, is, is my son, you know, taking a higher road? Is he being classy? Is he being kind? You know, those are the things that matter to her more than anything else. And I think it's, I think I've been lucky enough to have my head screwed on pretty well uh, throughout my entire career and my life, and I understand how kind of lucky and fortunate and privileged I am. So, you know, knowing those things make my mom pretty damn proud, I think. You know, the fact that I can um, recognize it and, and, and stay, you know, with my feet on the ground is important to her. And you are proud of her because I, you always smile and, and you like to have a, the red carpet, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't come enough. I, I wish she could come to everything I do. But, uh, you know, it's, it's been really nice having I, the pandemic was sucked for so many people. But I couldn't see her for couldn't see my brothers for a year or so. So now we're slowly getting that opportunity to get together. And uh, and it's really nice. Mm. And I talked with Dwayne also about, because both you and Dwayne in Red Notice, you had this daddy issues, you know? You had both this weird relation to your dad. How important, because you have three girls, Dwayne has three girls, Gal has three girls, all the girls. Yeah. But father, a father-son relation is always a different animal, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a, they can sometimes be a little bit more complicated not always but sometimes I know my relationship with my father is extremely uh, fraught and complicated but uh, and I think I, I wouldn't be speaking out of school if Dwayne has acknowledged that he's also had a very complicated relationship with his dad um, you know but girls you know having girls I noticed that uh, you know there with there's a special relationship between dads and daughters I think that I, I I wouldn't trade for the world, you know? And then the other way around, you know, sons and mothers, there's a special relationship there. I, 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 I always think that boys always come back for their moms. And, and, you know, even though they lose them as, as teenagers, they end up coming back uh, in a big way. Oh. And that's, that's the case with my family. 